How to publish a process into YPath Orchestrator. So to get started, you can create a new project in YPath Studio and add a simple hello world, or you can also use a project that you have already created. So uh, then here on the YPath Studio with the project open uh, to publish to YPath Orchestrator, let's click here on this button. And now here, let's click on publish options. And here we can choose to where we want to publish our process. So we can publish to the tenant process feed or to the personal workspace feed. Let's publish to both. So then we can see the main difference. So let's first publish to the personal workspace and click here on publish. So we can see that the project was published successfully. And then let's publish again to our tenant process field. And we can see that the project was also published successfully. So now let's open our YPath orchestrator and let's start by the personal workspace. I am already on it. And here on process, we can see that was already added as a process, our project. So we can already run it as we can see. So I've launched the process and we can see here the hello world message. So now if we go to the non personal workspace folder, so in our site, probably you have the shared folder. I have here the demo, so it's basically the same, the name, it's different. And so here we can see that we don't have uh, the process uh, that we have added because on these folders, so on the non-personal uh, workspace folders, we have to have manually uh, the process that we have published. So how we can add the process? So first we access to the folder, then we click on processes and we click on add process. And here package source name, we have to select the package that we have published. So here we can see the hello world. So we select it. And now here we can see the package version and entry main points. So let's leave as it is. Let's click on next. And now we can click on next again. And here we can add a display name. We can also add a description and now set the job priority. So let's leave as it is and let's click on create. So now uh, let's close and we can see that the process was added and now we can launch it from here. So let's start a new job. And now here we can see the message box. So if you like this tutorial, please give a thumbs up and now consider to subscribe to the channel and enable the notifications bell. So you'll get notified on this tutorial that I launch here on the channel.